friends, and thank you for joining us today. I'm Miss Megan, and this is our helper, Addie. Addie, can you say hello? Hi. Today, we're going to be talking about fractions, and we're going to make fractions a little more fun by using building blocks. As you can see, I have labeled out here that a 2 by 4 block is going to equal our whole, our one whole number, and then our 3 by 2 is going to be 3 fourths, our 2 by 2 is 1 half, our 2 by 1 is 1 fourth, and our 1 block is our 1 eighth. Now, Abby's been working on fractions at school, so she kind of knows them a little bit. But if not, use these analogies to help teach your child about what fractions are. It's as simple as showing a block, our 4 by 2, which is our whole number, add a 2 by 2 on top to show them that's half the size of the block. So that's half of 1. Then we can add a 2 by 1 to show them what a fourth is. And you can add two single blocks, which I should make that one a different color, to show them the 1 is. All right, you can do any combination like that on top of your one big block to teach them the difference in their fractions. Now, Addie's been able to write fraction equations. So to make this a little more fun for her, I like to hand her some blocks. Addie, can you write out that equation? Mm -hmm. You have one half plus one-fourth plus one-fourth. Good job. Now, how much does one-half plus one-fourth plus one-fourth equal? A whole. A whole. And then you write, to do the fraction, you would do four over four, which then equals one. Mm -hmm. All right, have fun with this. If your child's not up to doing fractions just yet, use this as a way to teach your child how to count by twos, right? So we have a two block. We have a two, four block. Two, four, six block. And a two, four, eight block. And you can continue going up the bigger the sizes are. Use it for adding and subtraction. Maybe you don't want to be the one coming up with all of the equations. Have your child stick their hand into a bucket of Legos, have them blindly pick out two or three, and then ask them to either add them or subtract them by counting the dots. It's very versatile, so no matter what level you're at, everybody can get a little something out of it. Have fun building with your blocks, and good luck learning all your good math skills.